Hello, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 Senior Recognition Virtual Program. My name is Doug Mays. I've been very fortunate to serve the Clarion County Career Center this year as the Interim Director. We appreciate your support and are grateful to be able to spend some time with you as we recognize our graduating seniors. Let us now take time to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, which will be followed uh, by the singing of the National Anthem by Ms. Lauren Skelly. My name is Caleb Klein. I go to Keystone High School. Um, 
So for my future plans, I'd like to, to continue in the Army National Guard, and then that's a that's a reserve unit. But I'd like to go specialize in pediatrics and also go somewhere like, I don't know, Pitt Titusville or Pitt University and go work with children, because I love children. My name is Ashton Bowser. I go to Union High School and I plan on attending UNO in Lima, Ohio in the fall semester of this year. My name is Chance Buzzard. I go to Keystone High School. 
I plan to become a certified technician or mechanic, hopefully um, something at a dealership um, with um, GM. Uh, I think it depends on who's hiring. I'm undecided with school right now. My name is Dylan Cooper Schroeder. I am from Larian Area High School and the Career Center has made a positive impact on me by teaching me the necessary skills I need to be successful in my uh, career field of choice. Hi, my name is Logan Dre from Red Bank Valley High School. I wanted to say everything that I have learned from the Pioneer County Career Center, I put the effort into where I work now, which is at Rep Farms in Mayport, PA. I, everything I learned from the Barron County Career Center, I applied there, and I'm right now I'm doing a very good job. And after school, I would like to go straight into work at Miller Welding. My name is Zach Files. I go to Clarion Area High School. And when I graduate, I want to hopefully work in garage or in my own garage. I'm um, Braden Hattrick and I attend Union High School. I plan on going to UNM and I want to pursue the automotive and diesel program to hopefully uh, be successful in the automotive industry. My name is Hunter Edward Lavery and I am a student at Clarion Area Junior Senior High School. I am currently enrolled in the University of Northwestern Ohio for the automotive and light diesel program. I will be pursuing my career with a heart-filled desire and passion to strive for nothing but the absolute best. My name is Alan May and I'm a student at Clarion Area High School and after I graduate I plan on enlisting in the United States Army and after I get out of there I plan on opening my own shop somewhere here in Clarion. Hi, my uh, name is Jacob Rhodes, go to AC Valley and get my CDL and be a truck driver. No, my name is James Snyder. I go to Clarion Limestone. I am a senior and for my future plans are to graduate first and then go into a career and follow my dreams of being a mechanic. My name is Ethan Thomas. I'm from North Clarion County School District, and my future plans are to work in an auto body garage and become an auto body tech. I'm Robert Wolbert. I go to North Clarion, and the Clarion County Career Center has taught me what I want to do and what I do not want to do for the rest of my life. My shop auto has taught me the skills for the trade, what I need to learn what I do and it's taught me my skills are only valuable if I apply myself to the job. I'm Rob Wyatt. I go to Clarion Limestone and my plan for the future is to graduate college and one day own my own garage. Congratulations to the class of 2020, especially my students in construction and also automotive. I wish you all the very best. You're all my favorites. Please be safe and take care. Have a great time. Hi, I'm Randy Shook, the chef instructor of the Culinary Arts Program, and I'd like to recognize my outstanding senior and my graduating seniors from the program this year. Micah Best from Keystone, Charlie Burdick from AC Valley, Calvin Rupert from AC Valley, and Dalton Beery from North Clarion. And our outstanding senior this year in the Culinary Arts Program is Micah Best from Keystone. Congratulations to all of you, and especially to Micah for your hard work. Hi, my name is Logan Berry. I'm from North Carolina High School. I run a number of different jobs. I like working with Mrs. Shook and Mrs. Larry, Mrs. Horn. I'm going to find a job after I graduate. My name is Micah Best. I'm in the Culinary Arts and Hospitality program. I'm from Keystone High School and I've been here for three years. And the career
Career Center has positively impacted my life in so many ways that I can't even put it into words. I've met some amazing people here. I've seen my potential that I didn't think I had, and the support that Chef and Mrs. Horn have given me is something that I'm so thankful for, and I'm very sad this is my last year. Hello, I am Calvin Roper. I go to Allegheny Clarion Valley School District. My plan after high school is to go to Westmoreland College and after I graduate from Westmoreland College to open up my own business and help out the community. Hi there. Congratulations to the Clarion County Career Center Class of 2020. It has been an experience for all of you and I appreciate our culinary department with Micah, Charlie, Calvin, and Dalton. You have impressed me. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished in the two or three years that you have been here. I want you to know I'll always be here for you. I want you to take one step at a time, one day at a time, look to the stars, follow that rainbow, you'll be successful. Love you all. Hello, my name is Walter Slipchuk, and I'm the Computer Networking Instructor here at the Clarion County Career Center. I want to congratulate the class of 2020 in the Computer Networking Program. Over the past two years, I've got to see you guys grow immensely. You are now prepared to go out for an entry-level position or go on to post-secondary education. Our graduating seniors in Computer Networking are Dan Long, Union, Christopher Pleitner, Union, and Cody White, Climbing Limestone. I'd like to congratulate Dan Long, this year's outstanding senior for the Computer Networking Program. It was a difficult decision because you all have shown a great improvement over the last two years, and you should be congratulated for that. I'm very proud of you. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. My name is Darren Long I'm from Union High School. I'm in computer networking. My plans after school are, is to open a computer repair business. Uh, I'm Chris Pleitner and I'm from Keystone High School. The Career Center has made a positive impact on me by helping me understand more about the jobs and opportunities that are available for me after I come. Hello, my name is Cody White. I'm a senior at Clarion Limestone, and I'm in the computer network. How the Career Center has impacted my life is they've helped me to manage my anxieties. They've helped to overall just make me a better man. And what I want to do with my life is I'm hoping to go to college and get a bachelor's degree in network administration. Hello, I'm Bridget O'Brien, the Cosmetology Styling Academy instructor. Throughout the three years in the Cosmetology Styling Academy, the students have learned the various aspects of the cosmetology industry, with the opportunity to take their state board examination. This year, the Cosmetology Styling Academy seniors are Abigail Doima from Union, Allison Hepler from Keystone, Alexis Cribble from AC Valley, Andrew Oaks from North Clarion, Ketanisha Rudolph from Clarion Area, Taylor Runyon from Keystone, Abigail Stewart from AC Valley, and Summer Young from AC Valley. Congratulations to all of the 2020 seniors. This year's outstanding senior for the Cosmetology Styling Academy is Abigail Stewart. I'm Abigail Doima, I'm from Union, and my future plans are to obtain a cosmetology license and open my own business. Hi, I'm Allison, I'm from Houston, and my plans after high school are to work in a salon and figure out a long-term plan for my future. Hi, my name is Alexis Cribble, I'm from AC Valley, and my future plans are to get my 
in cosmetology medicines, changed my existing career into a stylist, and maybe someday a nail salon. My name is Andrew Oaks. I go to North Clarion. I am a third year from cosmetology, and my plans after high school is to achieve my business degree and in hopes to open my own salon someday in the facial aspect of cosmetology. Hi, my name is Kenzie Shirudoff. I go to Clarion Area High School, and upon graduation, I'm going to take my state forms exam and do hair extensions and be a nail technician. Hi, my name is Tamara Rangan. I go to Keystone High School and I want to work in a salon. Hello, I'm Abby Stewart. I go to AC Valley. Once I finish my hours and pass my cosmetology test and obtain my license, I plan to work at JCPenney Salon and Clarion. Hi, my name is Summer Young and I'm from AC Valley. The Career Center has granted me a multitude of leadership skills to take with me into the future and I really appreciate everything that they have done for me. Congratulations to the class of 2020, um, especially to the cosmetology students. Um, what a way to end the year. We really didn't know what was happening when we left that day that it was going to be the end. Um, I know you all have lots of hours to complete yet. I hope you are successful in getting that done. Mrs. O'Brien and I will gladly help you in any way we can. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this career as much as I have. Uh, I love to go to work. It never seems like work. Um, I, I know there's great things out there for all of you. So congratulations again. We miss you. Hello, my name is Ben Black. I'm a construction technology teacher here at the Clarion County Career Center. We prepare our students in the, our class for entering the workforce in the construction field. Our seniors this year are Lucas Baker, Clarion Area, Ian Beatner, Keystone, Colby Best, AC Valley, Travis Greenwald, Keystone, Zach Falkberg, AC Valley, Jonathan Lee, Keystone, Colby Mabel, North Clarion, Mike Peterson, Clarion Area, Jacob Porter, Keystone, Ethan Remick, Clarion Area, Justin Weaver, Keystone, and Riley Woods, Keystone. Our top senior is Jacob Porter. I'd like to wish Jake Porter and all of our seniors congratulations on their senior year and their uh, opportunity entering our workforce. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dan Emmings, one of the construction technology instructors here at the Career Center. I would like to present the Marshalltown Award for three outstanding students in the field. Um, first would be Lucas Baker in drywall. Next would be Jonathan Lee in masonry. Third would be Colby Mabel in concrete. I would like to wish the seniors the best of luck after graduation and entering the workforce. Thank you. I'm Lucas Baker and I go to the Clarion area and I plan to pursue a career in the construction industry. Yeah, I'm Ian and I'm from Keystone. My future plans are to go to a trade school like Congo Tech once I graduate. My name is Colby Best and I go to AC Valley. My plans after high school is to pursue a career in the United States Army. My name is Zach Faulkner. I go to AC Valley and I'd like to be a machinist or gunsmith and I'd like to go to school down in Pittsburgh for gunsmithing. I'm Travis Greenwald and I go to Keystone High School. My future plans for after I graduate are for going into the operators union to run heavy equipment and if that plan fails go in and further my career in the construction field. I'm Jonathan Lee, I'm from Keystone 
and the Career Center has introduced me to many opportunities to think about. And from those opportunities, I'm planning on attending Edinburgh University for a two-year associate's degree, followed by a three-year apprenticeship and become an electrical lineman. My name is Colby Mabled. I'm from construction. I go to North Clarion. Some things that have helped me with construction is learning skills that I didn't know before and being able to work with others. I'm Michael Peterson. I go to Clarion Area School District. Uh, when I'm done over here, I plan to get a job in the construction and the trades. My name is Jake Porter. I go to Keystone. My future plans is to enlist in the United States military. Hi, I'm Ethan Remick and I go to Clarion Area High School. The Clarion County Career Center has positively impacted me by giving me the skills I need to obtain a quality job in the construction field. Justin Weaver, Keystone High School, and the Career Center has taught me many useful things that I'll use throughout my life. My name is Riley Woods. I attend Keystone High School. My time at the Clarion County Career Center helped me learn basic skills and knowledge required in the construction field. Hi, my name is Terry Clark and I am the Diesel Technology Instructor. Uh, let's give you a brief description of what my students have been working on for the last three years basically working toward getting certifications and skills needed so they can enter the diesel field as an entry level mechanic. I'd like to take this moment to recognize my 2020 seniors, Austin Carlson, Red Bank, Nathan Curl, Red Bank, Allison Domino, North Clarion, William Huffman, Clarion, Joshua Lawson, Union, Tyler Smader, Clarion, Riley Sloggenhawk, Red Bank, Dylan Steiner, Red Bank, Ethan Wadding, Red Bank, and Peter Wolf, Allegheny Clarion Valley. And the 2020 top diesel student is Riley Slogginhoff. Congratulations Riley and congratulations to all my students. Hi, my name is Austin Carlos and I go to Red Bank Valley High School. My future plans include going to be a lineman. I'm Nathan Curl. I go to Red Bank Valley High School and my future plans after graduation is to enroll in the lineman school. My name is Billy Huffman, I go to Clarion Area High School, and my future plans are to work with my dad in the timber business and become an editor of it someday. My name is Tyler Schmader. My future plans after high school is to join the United States Army and be trained as a diesel mechanic. I'm Riley Slogginhall. I go to Red Bank Valley. And after graduation, I plan to go into the heavy equipment industry, whether it's working on them or running them. There's a lot of money in that field right at the moment. My name is Dylan Steiner. I go to Red Bank Valley High School. 
being at the Career Center has taught me a good work ethic and I've learned a lot about the tracks. I'm very happy with the education that I've received. My name is Ethan Wadding, I go to Red Bank and my future plans are the EU and age bank. My name is Pierre Wolf, I go to AC Brown and my future plans are to do infantry in the United States Army. Congratulations to the graduates of the Clarion County Career Center 2020 class. To the diesel class, I missed you and I hope you reach for the stars because the sky's the limit. Hi, I'm Chris Richardson. I'm the police science instructor here at the Clarion County Career Center. I've been here for 15 years along with Mrs. Zackle, my instructional assistant. Over that period of time, the program has changed dramatically. We've added a lot of industry certifications, the ability for students to gain work experience, simulated training, and also preparation to go right into the workforce, typically public safety opportunities. Let me go ahead and read off the 2019-2020 graduates, starting with Seth Beekner from Keystone, Trinity Burke from Keystone, Alyssa Corvino from Keystone, Taylor King, Red Bank Valley, Olivia Montgomery Tolbert, AC Valley, Lindsay Newton, North Clarion, JC Pritt, Keystone, Gavin Slavon, Clarion Limestone, CJ Wyman, AC Valley. Let me recognize the 2019-2020 Police Science Top Senior, JC Pritt. And I also want to just congratulate all the seniors. Most of them have done a three-year term here at the Career Center. It's a long period of time. I think their effort was overwhelming and their motivation beyond what was expected. Thank you for this three-year period and I congratulate all of you. Good luck to you. My name is Seth Beatner. I go to Keystone High School. My future plan is to be a corrections officer or join the U.S. Air Force as a military police. My name is Trinity Burke and I go to Keystone High School. My future plans are to enlist in the United States Marine Corps as a military police officer, work part-time as an EMT, and make my professional boxing debut in the next few years. My name is Alyssa Corvino and I'm from Keystone High School and my future plans are to go into the Marines for finance managing and uh, I am in police science because it gives me the mindset and the physical skills to be able to get through boot camp and everything like that. And after my term in the military, I went to be a correctional officer. Taylor King, Red Bank Valley. My future plans are to attend the University of Cook Bradford and use my EMT and emergency dispatch certifications to work as a full part-time county or campus dispatch. My name is Olivia Montgomery Tolbert. I go to AC Valley High School and I wish to attend BC3 for criminology and work as a corrections officer in Butler County Jail and then I try, I'm going to try to go to police camp. My name is Lindsay Newton. I'm from North Clarion High School. My future plans are to use my police science certifications to get a correctional job and further my post-secondary. Education. 
My name is JC Pritt. I go to Keystone High School. My future plans are to attend Clarion University and work part-time as an EMT in campus dispatcher. At Clarion, I plan to get my bachelor's degree in criminal justice to pursue my career as a probation officer. My name is Gavin Slaybon, I'm from Clarion Limestone, and my future plans are to gain employment as a park ranger at the state park. Hi, my name is CJ Wyman, I go to AC Valley High School, and the Career Center has had a positive impact on me by preparing me for the military, and also giving me plenty of opportunities for getting certifications such as my EMT and a lot of other certifications as well. Congratulations to the 2020 class of the Clarion County Career Center. Special congratulations to my police science seniors, Taylor, Lindsay, Gavin, Seth, Trinity, JC, Olivia, Alyssa, and CJ. I am so proud of you. Congratulations and, and good luck in your future. Remember that I am proud of you and I believe in you. Hello, my name is Jeff Gorsh and I'm a welding instructor here at the Clarion County Career Center. It has been a privilege to become a welding instructor here at the Career Center. Although my time with the students has been limited due to the COVID-19, the students have made a long-lasting impression on me. I have great respect for all those graduating students of 2020. I feel confident that all the students in the welding program are ready for their careers in the welding and fabrication field. And this year's top student is Doug Lawrence. He has made in many outstanding improvements <clears throat> since I've been working with him and on his welding techniques and his leadership skills. Our seniors graduating from the welding and fabrication program are as follows. Martin Armstrong of Red Bank Valley, Trey Bauer of North Clarion, Chase Gunstrom of Red Bank Valley, Mr. John Hankey of AC Valley, Jacob Kaselka from AC Valley, Donovan McGiffin from Keystone, and Doug Lawrence of Union. Thank you students for the time we have been together. Um, again, I have much respect for you, and I wish you the best in your welding and fabrication career. I'll have to hear from you in the future to see how it does it made out. My name is Martin Armstrong, I'm from Red Bank Valley High School. I plan on going into the military and becoming a drone repairman. I also want to finish up in the military and become a full-time welder at Miller Welding for Steve Cutters Union. I'm Trey Bauer up from North Bay High School, and the Career Center has helped me improve my skills in welding and teach me good techniques for such a highly demanded trade. My name is Chase Guntram from Red Bank Valley High School. I'm in the welding and fabrication program. And the Career Center has allowed me to dream big and go to the Steam Fitters Union after continuing my work at Unique Fabrication. Hi, my name is John Henke. I'm from AC Valley. And how has the Career Center made a positive impact on me? Uh, it helped me better my skills as a welder. Hi, my name is Douglas Lawrence. I am from Union High School. My future plans are to further my welding education and better self myself for the future. My name is Donovan McGiffin. I go to Keystone High School. My future plans is to work in a welding shop. Uh, they go or go to a technical college for pipe welding, and I try to be a pipe welder. Best wishes to our kids from the Clarion County Career Center, our 2020 class. We're sorry that your year had to end the way it did. It was not what we planned. We are so proud of all of you, especially my welding kids. I really have enjoyed being with you. I am going to miss you immensely. Good luck in everything you do. Know that we are always, always, always proud of you. I would like to introduce Mrs. Paula Davis, 
Director of Student Services and National Technical Honor Society Advisor to present both the National Tech Honor Society and the NOCD exams. Hi, I'm Paula Davis, Director of Student Services at the Clarion County Career Center. At this time, we're going to honor our graduating seniors from the National Technical Honor Society organization. The National Technical Honor Society, also known as NTHS, is an organization that recognizes outstanding student achievement in career and technical education. Membership in the NTHS organization is both an honor and a commitment. NTHS honors the achievement of top CTE students, provides scholarships to encourage the pursuit of higher education, and cultivates excellence in today's highly competitive, skilled workforce. This year, we have 14 seniors who are members of the NTHS organization. These students have met the following criteria at the time of induction. The student must have been in the 11th or the 12th grade and had a minimum of two years at the Clarion County Career Center. The student should have had no lapse in enrollment or participation that would have caused he or she to not have received a quarter grade. The student would have needed to have an overall grade percentage at the time of evaluation of 95% or higher if the student is a junior and 93% or higher if the student is a senior. A review of the student's attendance record regarding the number of days missed and the number of times tardy should have reflected a target of 95% or better. And finally, in reviewing the qualified student's disciplinary record, the student must not have acquired anything beyond a first offense warning during his or her enrollment at the Career Center. Upon achievement of grade, attendance, and discipline criteria, shop instructors further evaluated students based on the performance in the following areas. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership. These are the seven attributes that pertain to the NTHS organization. The following students will graduate as members of the NTHS organization. Melina Bowser, Clarion Area, Allied Health. Chase Guntram, Red Bag Valley, Welding and Fabrication. Braden Petrick, Union, Automotive Technology. William Huffman, Clarion Area, Diesel Technology. Taylor King, Red Bank Valley, Police Science. Jonathan Lee, Keystone, Construction Technology. Olivia Montgomery Tolbert, AC Valley, Police Science. JC Pritt, Keystone, Police Science. Ethan Thomas, North Clarion Automotive Technology. Ethan Wadding, Red Bed Valley Diesel Technology. Justin Weaver, Keystone Construction Technology. Cody White, Clarion Limestone Computer Networking. Riley Woods, Keystone Construction Technology. And CJ Wanman, AC Valley Police Science. Members of the NTHS organization are given purple cords, which they may wear on their graduation from their home school. Congratulations to all of our graduating senior members of the National Technical Honor Society. We wish you well and know that you will continue to uphold the standards of excellence of the NTHS organization. Thank you. The NOCTI which stands for National Occupational Competency Testing Institute, delivers a battery of assessments for standardized tests for students studying career and technical programs. It assesses students' knowledge in both theory and hands-on skills in his or her chosen career path. Students take both a written and competency-based portion and are judged by professionals who are employed in each respective industry. This year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the NOCTI exam was canceled by the Pennsylvania Department of Education prior to students having the ability to be assessed in both areas of the exam. 
However, at this time, we would like to still recognize those students for their efforts and performance for having scored advanced on the written portion of the exam. These students are as follows. Lucas Baker, Ian Baker, Colby Best, Micah Best, Ashton Bowser, Melina Bowser, Chance Buzzer, Abigail Doima, Zachary Faulkner, Zachary Faust, Chase Guntram, Travis Greenewald, John Hankey, Allison Hepler, Caleb Klein, Alexis Cribble, Jonathan Lee, Daniel Long, Alethea Moore, Olivia Montgomery Tolbert, Andrew Oakes, Christopher Pleitner, Jacob Porter, JC Pritt, Jacob Rhodes, Taylor Runyon, Abby Slegel, Abigail Stewart, Cody White, Paige Wilkinson, Robert Wyatt, and CJ Wyman. Congratulations to all of these students and we commend you for your efforts, your preparation, and your performance on the written portion of the 2019-2020 NACI exam. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Randy Shook, Skills USA Advisor. Hi, I'm Randy Shook, and I'm the advisor for Skills USA at the Clarion County Career Center. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize the graduating seniors that competed at the district level in January in Newcastle. Those seniors are Ethan Wadding, Doug Lawrence, Allison Hepler, Summer Young, Kentanesha Rudolph, Alexis Cribble, Micah Best, Taylor King, CJ Wyman, JC Pritt, Olivia Montgomery Tolbert. Those seniors competed and were recognized for their hard work, their efforts, and their great representation of the Career Center in Newcastle. We wish them all well and congratulate them on their graduation and look forward to hearing great things about them in the future. Here to present the Mary Kay Hartle Award is Mrs. Kathy Smirker. Hi, I'm Kathy Smirker, daughter of Mary Kay Hartle. This is definitely different from the past ceremonies that we have, att have previously attended. And by myself, usually my dad is standing beside me, and he is well, but just not with me today. And I miss seeing all of you. My family and I always enjoy coming here every year and presenting this award in honor of my mother, Mary Kay Hartle. Most of you have not had the opportunity to know my mother, but why her students, coworkers, and family think she's special. So I'll take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about her and the award itself. She was the first to do a lot of things. For example, she was one of the first nurse practitioners in this area when nurse practitioners weren't widely accepted. She was in the first Bachelor of Science in Nursing program at Clarion University, and she was the first allied health instructor at the Career Center, what she loved the most. She stayed there the longest and probably would still be there today if um, she didn't get cancer. She was a huge supporter of vocational education, believed that you could go anywhere and do anything with the education and experiences that you get at the Career Center. I've been told by past students over the years that she treated her students as if they were her own kids. She was tough on them and expected them to achieve great things. I've also heard from past students that she changed their lives for the better. When she was diagnosed with cancer in 1989, she would tell us to make today count and she had the initials MTC everywhere to remind us. When she passed away in 1990, her co-workers wanted to do something that would honor her memory so they established this award. Last year I came across a newspaper article from November 1989 with the headline, Hartle Receives National Award. She received the National Award for Outstanding Vocational Educator of the Year. She was the first Pennsylvania vocational educator to receive that award. Her shop also earned recognition as a national honor club. She also piloted the professional development program that they use nationally. She's quoted in the article as saying, 
What I do is try to spark an interest in our high school students in any area of healthcare. With my education, I have been offered jobs in college and higher education. I have stayed at the high school because that's where we have to generate our basic interest. In order to get these kids to return to the community to work, we have to work with the kids who are already here. It's harder to recruit people to come to Clarion and work, so it's easier to work with the kids who are already here. Seniors that are eligible for this award must have a 95% attendance rate over three years, be a member of the Clarion County Career Center Honor Society, participate in Skill USA, have a minimum 3.5 GPA, and write an essay about what Make Today Count means to them. The students are nominated by their instructor and interviewed by someone other than our family members. The $500 check that goes with the award is given by the students from their fundraising efforts. I am proud to announce this year's Mary Kay Hartle Most Outstanding Senior is J.C. Pritt, Keystone student from Police Science. I would like to introduce Mr. Fred Port from the Clarion Rotary Club who will be presenting both the Thomas Burkhart Rotary Scholarship Award and Service Award. Hello class of uh, 2020 Career Center graduates. Um, a strange year for all of us in the year of COVID. Uh, I'm Fred Port, I'm with the Clarion Rotary Club and I'm here to present a couple of scholar awards. Uh, first and foremost primarily the Tom Burkhart Scholarship Award that we've presented annually from the Clarion Rotary Club for the last 15 years. Tom Burkhart was the Career Center co-op director, similar to Mr. Maganotti, the job that he does now. And unfortunately, we lost Mr. Burkhart way too early in his life. Um, he's a past president of the Rotary Club, similar to myself, and um, which Mr. Maganotti is also a member of the Rotary Club. And I get to come and present a scholarship to the most outstanding co-op senior for this year. Uh, but let me tell you a little bit about uh, what makes Rotary and why we present this award on behalf of Mr. Burkhart's uh, memory every year. The Rotary is a worldwide organization of business and professional leaders that provides hum humanitarian service, encourages high ethical standards in all locations, it helps build goodwill and peace in the world. Approximately 1.2 million Rotarians belong to more than 33,000 clubs in more than 200 countries in geographical areas, serving not only their local communities, but also helping the international community when in need. Rotary members are volunteers who work locally, regionally, and internationally to combat hunger, improve health, and sanitation and provide education and job training to promoting peace and to eradicate polio under the motto of service above self. So we have an object of Rotary with four avenues of service and they create the cornerstone and the foundation on which Rotary Club activity is based. Club service focuses on strengthening fellowship ensuring the effective functioning of the club. Community service covers the projects and activities the club undertakes to improve life in its community. International service encompasses actions taken to expand Rotary's humanitarian reach around the globe and to promote world understanding and peace. And most importantly, today, vocational service, which encourages Rotarians to serve others through their vocations and to practice high ethical standards, and why this award is so special in Mr. Burkhart's memory. If you see the rotary wheel on my lapel, those four avenues of service make up the wheel, and Mr. Burkhart supported and lived these ideals during his life, and he, he was proud of his affiliation with the Career Center and most importantly, you, the students, that make the Career Center the special, how special it is. So Mr. Burkhart first started here in 1976, 
as the automotive instructor, then moved on to become the co-op education coordinator. coordinator. So normally, myself and Mary Louise Lowe would come over and get to interview students for this prestigious award. Unfortunately, this year, the year of COVID-19, uh, we were unable to meet individually with the students. So I'd like to congratulate those students who went ahead and took the time to do the essay portion that Mr. Baganotti and I talked about. We still wanted to present an award this year, and unfortunately we had to come up with an alternative format. So this year it was an essay format based on service, as service above self is Rotary's motto. So thank you to those students who went ahead and took that extra time to create their own um, special look at what service meant to them. So as we read through, through the essays, um, we were able to choose a student. But why were, were the students chosen to, uh, to be able to, to write that, that individual uh, essay? So the annual award is given to a deserving graduating cooperative education senior that shows achievement on the job site as well in the classroom. Given personality, initiative, dependability, cooperation, responsibility, safety, quality of work, quantity of work, service to the community. So this, this award is through generous donations from the friends and family of Tom Burkhart and the Clarion Rotary Club. On behalf of your local Rotary Club, 54 members strong, I'm proud to announce this year's recipient. In addition to the Certificate of Achievement, their name entered on the award plaque in the Career Center, I have a monetary gift today of $500 for their future career development. And today's Tom Burkhart Award winner for the class of 2020 is Mr. John Hank. Congratulations, John. I hope you put these dollars to good use to improve your future career. Thank you and congratulations. And they invited me back because uh, in addition to the Burkhardt Award, uh, the district of Rotary, which is 7280, which encompasses the Pittsburgh area all the way up to Kane, Pennsylvania, which the Clarion Rotary Club is part of that district, also includes a special service award that um, we are allowed to present another certificate and another uh, monetary gift to a deserving graduating senior of the Clarion County Career Center. And our choice based on, once again, the essay contest that the outstanding seniors of 2020 participated in. This, this year, that the District 7280 Service Award goes to Mr. Justin Weaver who will receive a certificate of that award plus a check for $250 that will go towards his future endeavors and his career choice. So congratulations, Justin. And once again, congratulations to John for your outstanding participation um, through your college career. Uh, once again, I'd like to congratulate all the graduating seniors of the class of 2020 it is difficult for you not to be able to participate in the normal events of a graduating class. And sorry I can't be with you in person. I've always enjoyed the uh, graduation ceremonies, the pomp and circumstance, so to speak, that the Career Center provides for you. But uh, enjoy your night, and enjoy your future, and good luck to all of you. Thank you. The next award is in recognition and honor of Mr. Ron Perry, whose life was spent in dedication in Clarion County and to his volunteer efforts. To present this year's award is Ron's wife, Yvonne Perry. My name is Yvonne Perry, 
and I'm honored to be here tonight with all of you graduates at this unique graduation recognition ceremony. The reason I'm here is to present the Ron Perry Volunteerism Award for one of your graduating class. This award, uh, let's go back a little bit and say how the award was, was initiated. I'm Mrs. Perry, Ron's wife, and Ron died in 2012. After his death, the Joint Operating Committee of the school decided to establish this award. And they, they were doing it to honor Ron's memory because of his uh, dedication and commitment to many community and school causes. As such, he was a school board director at Clarion Area School for 33 years, and for many of those years, he also sat on the Joint Operating Committee Board. Some of those years, even as the chairman of the Joint Operating Committee. So, has a strong foundation in volunteerism. So this, this award, once it was initiated, was decided to be awarded on the basis of pre-established criteria by a committee from the school. Let me give you a little bit of background information on the subject. Volunteerism can be described or defined as the practice of doing things for others without monetary recompenses, recompensation, uh, recompensation, excuse me, and that you're doing it for, it may be for the community, it may be for charitable causes or educational causes, but it's something you're doing on giving of yourself. The volunteer is the person who gives of themselves to help others. It does not need to be great acts, it's just acts done with kindness and greatness. So the volunteer receives a lot of, a lot of benefits from doing this. It increases self-esteem, self-confidence, just a good sense of well-being, and you get you get just you get the feeling of being a helper, helper for your efforts. So, other other benefits are that working as a volunteer, you have an opportunity to associate with many other people. It increases your communication skills, and it also gives you an opportunity to be involved in leadership. Now, as a student, you here at the Career Center have good opportunity to, because of outreach programs that you go into in the community that you, you may have more experiences than students from a traditional high school. So, I view volunteer, volunteering, volunteerism, as something that is a lifelong consideration. You can start, you can start, certainly start as a student, but you can start much later in life too. So I challenge all to go about being volunteers in your community. It could be your, your tiny community, like your extended family. It could be the community where you live. It could be state efforts or, or country efforts or universal efforts. Any of these things are good starting points. So uh, the person that was chosen to receive the volunteerism award tonight is uh, Olivia. Congratulations to Olivia. As an example of her, her kind efforts at volunteering, since schools have not been in session since March, she has spent much time making masks to give to other people. I congratulate Olivia. All of our seniors are members of the Pennsylvania Builders Association. Every year the PBA gives a, an award to a senior. This year's senior award for the PBA scholarship is Ann Beaker. Congratulations, Ann.
I would like to introduce Pat Kale. Pat is the owner of Zocro Motors. Pat will be here to speak on the presentation of the Michael and Marie Zocro Outstanding Diesel Student Award. Hi, my name is Pat Kale. I'm the president and one of the owners at Zocro Motor Truck Sales here in Clarion. My grandparents, Michael and Marie Zocro, founded our company on September 10, 1940. They both were stewards of education and, of course, trucks in the trucking industry. Their commitment to training and teaching convinced us to create an award at the Clarion County Career Center, as this county was their home all of their lives. This will be the sixth year that we present our award to the outstanding senior in the diesel technology department, and we couldn't be more proud to be a part of recognizing excellence in technical training. The recipient of this award is chosen by the instructor, Terry Clark, and the award is based upon work ethic, academic performance, NOCTI score, and attendance. This year's award recipient is a Red Bank Valley High School student who showed his instructors and his classmates a dedication and a commitment to excellence in his coursework. With his experience in the diesel technology program at the Career Center, I'm sure that he will be ready for whatever challenges await him in his chosen vocation. The award winner will receive a personalized plaque he will receive his name on the award plaques hanging at both Zocker Motor Truck Sales and here at the Career Center. He also will receive a $250 award from Zocker Motors to be, to be used to help him begin his career. It's with great pleasure and I'm extremely proud to announce that the 2020 Michael and Marie Zocker Outstanding Diesel Technology Student Award goes to Riley Slogonov. Zocker Motor Truck Sales sends our best wishes to Riley, his family, and the entire Clarion County Career Center graduating class. At this time, the Clarion County Career Center would like to recognize and express our gratitude to the following students who will be joining the U.S. military following graduation. Martin Armstrong, a welding student from Red Bank Valley, is joining the U.S. Army. Colby Best, a construction student from AC Valley, Colby is joining the U.S. Army Reserves. Trinity Burke, a police science student from Keystone High School, Trinity is joining the U.S. Marine Corps. Dylan Cooper Schroeder, an automotive student from Clarion area, is joining the U.S. Marine Corps. Alyssa Corvino, a police science student from Keystone High School, is joining the U.S. Marine Corps. Caleb Klein, an Allied Health student from Keystone High School, who is joining the U.S. Army National Guard. Alan May, an automotive student from Clarion Area High School who is joining the U.S. Army Reserves. Jacob Porter. Jacob is a construction student from Keystone High School joining the U.S. Navy. Tyler Schmader. Tyler is in diesel from Clarion Area who is joining the U.S. Army. Robert Wolber. Robert is an automotive student from North Clarion High School who will be joining the U.S. Army. Peter Wolf. Peter is a diesel student from AC Valley who will be joining the U.S. Army. And C.J. Wyman. C.J. is a police science student from AC Valley who will be joining the U.S. Army Reserves. Thank you for your service to our country. Should be in the market, I think,
Thank you to every family member and friend who has supported and encouraged these students on their journey. Thank you to the principals, superintendents, board members, and co-op employers for your support to our students this school year. A special thank you to our Senior Recognition Committee and Mr. Walter Slivchek for the time and effort they put into recording and creating these videos for our students. Congratulations to all the graduating seniors and tonight's scholarship recipients. We wish you luck and success in each of your chosen professions. With these next few months of uncertainty, make the best out of the situation. We all have been affected by this pandemic. Please reach out to the others and support and offer any support that you can give to them. Take the time to reflect on your life. Spend more time with your family and friends. Learn to appreciate the little things in life. Your senior year may have been cut short, but your dreams have not. We may not have been able to give you a traditional senior recognition award, but this is what will make your class unique. It is with honor that I present to you the Clarion County Career Center Class of 2020.